one teacher can do things that another teacher says is impossible. So we are interested in learning from the teachers who say it is possible and they do are able to include learners in their classroom and they're able to get good results for all the children. The teachers who are very good at inclusive education are able to do is suspend their judgment about the uh, uh, what children can do. They have learned to say that children have an open-ended capacity to learn. They do not prejudge the child uh, or put them into groups that says what one child can do, uh, what their level is, what their capability is. We need to be thinking about how we train the primary and secondary classroom teachers to accept a wide that there will be a wide diversity of learners in their classroom and that learners will there will there will be differences between the learners and they should expect this that this is not something extra for some children but that they should be thinking about accommodating difference because each and every child is different so we teach them that difference is an ordinary aspect of human development and we also teach them that they are capable that they have the the, that they are prepared as teachers to be able to respond to this level of diversity. This is not a job for someone else. This is their job. Teachers will work together. Their frustration is that in a busy school day, they don't often have the opportunity. So you can have an example of differentiated instruction that is a barrier to inclusion because it predetermines who can do what and it, it, it creates the unequal opportunity of giving different children different kinds of work and that is uh, uh, and then that leads to differential outcomes of course it would and so differentiation in that regard is not a good strategy for inclusion we know when inclusion is working when schools are happy places when the children are excited about their learning and where the school can show the progress of each and every child